Hi everybody and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to create a print function on an actual report in Microsoft Access using VBA. Um, so what we've got here is we've got a just a general report that was created inside of Microsoft Access and we want to put a button on here that will allow the end user to actually print this report and we're going to create the uh, code for this and commands using VBA, Visual Basics for Applications. So to begin, the first thing we need to do is we have to go into Design View on the report. So on the Home tab, we will select View, and we'll go to Design View. And we want to make sure that we're on the Design button here at the top, and we have some buttons over here, okay, some selections rather, some icons. We want to choose the fourth one over from the left, and it's called Button. So I'll just click on that, and anywhere in the top form of my header within my report, I'm just going to drag and drop a button here. And I'm going to call this print report. I'm just going to change the color of the font here to make it easier for the end user to see. So I'm going to go to format and I'm going to change this to white. Actually, I'll change it to black. There, that's a little better, a little more clear. Okay, so now we've drawn our button on our form. The next thing that we need to do is, again, if you're not on the design tab, is be on the design tab. From the design tab, I'd like you to scroll over to the tools section here, and we want to select property sheet. Once we pull up our property sheet with the new button selected, we've got several tabs here, format, data, event, other and all. We want to be on the event tab. And the very first row here is on click. So the event is on click. When somebody clicks on this print button, we want something to happen. So what we need to do is go over to the far little box on the right with the little three dots, select that, and we have our builder pop-up comes up and it's asking us to choose a builder. We've got a macro builder, expression builder, or code builder. So for this particular function, we are going to select the code builder. So with the code builder highlighted, select OK. And now we are, we've opened up our Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications. All right, and we're going to begin putting in the code to create the uh, print function for this report. So we're going to start with dim space var print, OK? variable print space as we're going to set this as a string space s t and r and you can see string appears okay so that's what we want that we want the dim var print to come out as a string select enter and now we've got to assign a value to var print okay what is it what are we printing so var print space equals space and this will be the name of the uh, report that you're printing and I just need to find mine here what's mine called? okay so mine is called raw underscore goods report so we're going to open quotes and I'm going to type in the name of my report okay end quotes Okay, so that's what that is. And now we have to put in the actual command, do a command. Do, and then the abbreviation for command, CMD, followed by a period. Now you can see the available options that are coming up for the command. I'm going to start to type in print. And as soon as I type in P, the first thing that's coming out is printout. Well, that's exactly what I want. Printout, space, and I want to choose this pop-up here, AC print all. Okay. And that's it for putting the code. It's that simple and straightforward. So when you're trying to put a, a button on a report to print a report, rather than using the, uh, the command wizard, uh, we write this code in using VBA. And again, it's dim var print as string print equals we're assigning a value to var print as raw, the name of our report and then we have to put in a command do cmd dot printout space ac print all 
Once we've entered all our code, we just simply have to save, close our VBA screen. Now let's go switch uh, back to our report view. And I'm going to save. And now we'll test out the button and I'll select print report. Now printing. Okay. Now I have mine set up as a uh, uh, an option and I'm going to select um, a PDF for mine to print as a PDF. And I'll just call this RG just so I can take a look at it after it prints. Select save. Now it's printing. Okay. And I'll go check for that in my Explorer file. Here we are, RG report. Open that up. And there we go, there's my report, okay? So it's that's it. now I could save this and email it to somebody. I've got my values and everything in there. Or it'll come off your print or whatever you, well, you know, whatever you have set up on your system. Close this. Okay, so that's all that's required. Very simple, just uh, three quick lines in VBA code and you can add a print function to your reports in, in under a moment. I hope you found that really helpful and we'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye now.